So today's video is on Cauchy's Euler equation. See here, so this topic is from linear differential equations with constant quotients. So according to the Cauchy's Euler equation, an equation of the form x power n, d power n plus p1, x power n minus 1, d power n minus 1 plus and so on pn of y is equal to q of x, where d is equal to the derivative with respect to x, d by dx. So in order to change this Cauchy's Euler equation into the linear equations with constant quotients. So we have a substitution here. So in place of x, we have to keep e power z. And next, in place of log x, so we have to keep z here. So and again, the simple substitution here is x cube d cube. In place of x cube d cube, we have to write as theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 of y and x square d square can be replaced by theta into theta minus 1 of y and x d as theta of y. So here these are the two examples related to this Cauchy's Euler equations and without wasting any time. So let's get started to get a solution for this Cauchy's Euler equation. So here, so the question here is x square d square minus x d plus 1 of y is equal to 2 log x and as usual so as this is a Cauchy's Euler equation so there is a substitution for this so in place of x square d square we can write as theta into theta minus 1 of y and x d is equal to theta of y and see here so this is nothing but so x is equal to e power z and log x is equal to z. So now I am going to transform this equation. So in place of x square d square I am writing as theta into theta minus 1. And in place of x d I am, I am going to write theta plus 1. So y bringing outside. So this is 2 into what is log x. Log x is nothing but z. So this got transformed as Linear equations with constant quotient. So this is theta square minus theta minus theta plus 1 of y is equal to 2 into e power z. So this can be written as theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 of y is equal to 2z. Now I have to solve this. So in order to solve this I have to write the auxiliary equation. So the auxiliary equation of the given equation is f of m is equal to 0. So here in place of theta, if I put m, that is m square minus 2m plus 1, 0. So which is nothing but m minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So m minus 1, m minus 1 is equal to 0. So m values are 1 comma 1. Therefore, our complementary factor can be written as c1 plus c2z into e power z. See here. Now again I will transform this. So yc value will be this is a c1 plus c2 what is z here z is according to the substitution it is log x and again i am writing as log x and again e power x, e power z is nothing but x so i am writing x so this is our complementary factor and coming to particular integral yp is equal to 1 by so here theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 into here q of x is nothing but 2z 2 into z see here our yp value can be written as here theta minus 1 whole square into 2z so if i bring to the numerator this one so i can again transform it as 1 minus theta whole square into 2z as it is a square negative also negative square is again positive so if i bring to the numerator this is 1 minus theta whole power minus 2 into 2z so yp value is equal to so if i keep on expanding minus minus plus this is 2 theta for one time i'll expand that's enough as it is power 1 so yp value is equal to if i multiply 1 into 2z is 2z and again 2 2 is a 4 and the first derivative of z is 1 so yp value is equal to 2z plus 4 and now our yp value if i transform to the original form what is z here so z is nothing but log x so i am writing in place of z as 2 log x plus 4 and this is b therefore our general solution see here our general solution y is equal to yc plus yp so what is yc yc is nothing but c1 plus c2 log x into x plus 
this is nothing but 2 log x plus 4 and this is the solution for uh, Cauchy's Euler equation and the next equation here is see here so this is nothing but x square d square plus x d minus 1 of uh, y is equal to x cube. So, for this question, so there is a substitution for transforming the Cauchy's Euler equation into the linear equation with constant quotients, there is a substitution. So, which is nothing but x square d square can be written as theta into, this is theta minus 1 and x d is equal to theta. And here x is equal to e power z and log x is equal to z. So, all these substitution if I made in this see this equation x square d square in place of x square d square I can write theta into theta minus 1 in place of x d. So, this is theta and this value is minus 1 of y is equal to in place of x if I write e power z whole cube. See here. So, if I multiply this is theta square minus theta plus theta minus 1 of y is equal to e power 3z. So, now if I cancel this one, so this will be theta square. So, this will be theta square minus 1 of y is equal to e power 3z. Now, according to the question, the auxiliary equation we have to write. The auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0. So, in place of theta, if I write m, that is m square is equal to 1. m square is equal to 1 here. So, m is equal to if I give a root, it will be plus or minus 1. So, our yc value is equal to. So, this one c1 e power minus z and c2 e power this one is plus z. And according to our original substitution, yc is equal to c1. What is e power z? So, e power z is nothing but x here. So, if I keep x, so this will be x inverse and c2. What is e power z? x. This is x power 1. So, this is nothing but the complementary factor. And next coming to particular integral yp. So, this can be written as 1 by theta square minus 1. So, this is theta square minus 1 into q which is nothing but e power 3z. So, what is the substitution I have to make? So, in place of theta, I have to put 3. So, here yp is equal to this is 3 square minus 1 into e power 3z. So, yp is equal to 1 by 9 minus 1 into 3 power e power 3z and this is nothing but 1 by 8 e power 3z. Therefore, our yp value is equal to 1 by 8 e power 3z. And see here, if I transform into original form, see here our yp value will be 1 by 8. What is e power z? So, e power z is nothing but x here. So, if I substitute, so this will be x cube and this is going to be the particular integral. So, as you know, for the general solution, we have y is equal to yc plus yp. So, now I am going to substitute all the values. What is yc here? yc is nothing but c1 x power minus 1 and c2 x power plus 1 and yp is nothing but 1 by 8 into x cube. And this is how we have to solve and these are regarding the Cauchy's Euler equations. And I will be uploading many more solutions for uh, the questions related to the Cauchy's Euler equation and later I will go to the legender. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. Please have a look at all my videos and it will immensely help you in your preparation. And if you really like you know what to do, please raise your thumb, leave a comment below and share it with your friends.